Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, the Samsung fourth generation Note was released this year at IFA at uh, Berlin, Germany. And so exciting about the Note 3. It's huge, it's powerful, it's awesome, but is it worth it? And my answer is heck yeah. The Note 4 is jam packed with the best hardware and design I've seen up to date to from Samsung. So that's a plus. Now, the Note 4's design resembles more like the Note 3 in many respects, except the metal frame around it. The shape of the Note 4 remains unchanged, which is a huge plus for those that are Note carriers. Changes to the dimensions, making it lighter and much more robust in feel. The back panel still has the flux leather, and you're able to remove the battery, which is a huge plus for me because I always carry an extra battery for those devices that are able to remove them. Now with the Note 4, you still have the home key, the power unlock and volume keys still remain the same spot as the previous Notes. Uh, it, now the Note 4 uses a 5.7 inch quad-core H2 Alamo display, which is a huge plus. Uh, the resolutions for this particular device is gonna be 2560 by 1440 pixels. Now this device is still non-water resistant. Uh, it, it has a 2.7 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor, awesome. Uh, it comes with three gigs of RAM. Built-in storage capacity is actually 32 gigs, but you're able to expand it to 64 gigs. It comes with the Android 4.4.4 with TouchWiz interface, which is actually Samsung's OS on top of KitKat. Uh, soon to be updated to Android L during the shipping time. So I, I think as soon as they release it, I think Android L is going to be being shown there. Uh, split screen functionality is still there. You're able to capture images, text, and web pages can be converted into editing and annotation with the S Pen. Samsung is awesome. Kept the camera as always to be the best with 16 megapixels. You have optical image stabilization, which helps steady shots while holding it with one hand. You got a 3.7 megapixel wide angle front facing camera. The pen has a more sensible status pen to mimic your handwriting. Uh, the battery capacity is actually 3,220 milliamps. The phone is also available in many colors such as frosted white, charcoal black, bronze gold, and blossom pink. The cost for this particular phone with no contract is $600, with a contract is $300. And believe it or not, there hasn't been a release date in the U.S., but in October 3rd, there has been rumored that Amazon is going to be having a pre-order that you can actually purchase the phone. Not actually purchase, but you can pre-order it at Amazon.com. So I'm, I'm going to be checking out Amazon.com and see if that's true around October 3rd. But there hasn't been a, a set date of when the device is going to be released to us people in the United States on the U.S. territory. Uh, I think also in October 13th, over the Netherlands, it's all also going to be released over there. So if you guys want to get a phone from over there, go for it. But other than that, guys, that is the specification reviews of the Note 4. So many good things happening for the Note 4. It is, again, it is jam-packed with a lot of hardware, and the design has been changed. The size and the feel still feels like a Note 4, but it's just a little bigger. And hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or any comments about the Note 4, leave it at the bottom of the comment section, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, and don't forget about hitting that like button. And uh, peace out.